You might not have the right stuff, but don't worry, there are still plenty of jobs in space. Hey guys, I'm Anthony, this is DNews, and this week eight brand new astronauts reported for duty at NASA. After a year and a half of searching, four men and four women were selected out of more than 6,000 applicants to be one of only 47 NASA astronauts in active duty. What's interesting is that this is the first time the new astronaut class includes equal numbers of men and women. And according to NASA's Director of Flight Crew Operations at the Johnson Space Center, they didn't intentionally go for a 50-50 gender split. It just turned out that way because space is equal opportunity. All of the newcomers happen to be the most qualified for the job. So what does it take to be chosen for this elite career? You probably just have to be kind of a short guy with thick glasses and bad knees who really loves space. No. See, the eight recruits came from really diverse backgrounds, but five of them do serve in different branches of the military, and all of them have advanced degrees in medicine, physics, engineering, or biology, and they all had to pass a pretty rigorous medical examination. And now that they've cleared that hurdle, it's still going to be a few years before they're sent to the cosmos, the eight recruits still have to go through basic training at space centers around the world to prepare them for missions yet to be determined. Some may end up on the International Space Station or up on an asteroid or on the moon, maybe even Mars. And for all their hard work, they will earn a salary of somewhere between $65,000 to $100,000 a year. Not a bad gig if you can get it, and given NASA's selection process, most of us won't. So, what does a wannabe space cowboy or girl do if you want a job in space but you can't get into NASA? What about applying for a job at SpaceX? The private space flight company owned by Elon Musk is hiring. I think they posted on Craigslist. Currently, there are more than 3,000 employees working at SpaceX, but they are looking to add more. For instance, you could be a spacesuit design engineer, developing and testing new ideas for the Dragon crew. Dragon is that spacecraft that transports cargo to and from the International Space Station. SpaceX is also looking for all kinds of engineers, machinists, welders, technicians. They even have a position called General Helper. Seriously, if you have good carpentry skills and a GED, you could, quote, work to advance the course of human history and pave the way to Mars. I'm pretty helpful in general. Maybe I could go work there. All of the open positions are listed on the SpaceX website. Check it out if you want to see what's there and what the requirements are. And maybe these jobs are not as cool as being a legit astronaut, but it's something, right? And with the private space industry growing, there are bound to be more jobs in the field. Not just with SpaceX, but with other companies too. Some that want to send paying customers to suborbital space like Virgin Galactic. Others that want to mine precious materials from near Earth asteroids like Deep Space Industries. The point is, if you really want some kind of space career, you definitely have options beyond NASA. And what kind of space job would you want to have? Let's assume other than astronaut, we all want to be astronauts. Tell us in the comments below and be sure to subscribe for more D News every day.